Good evening, everybody, and welcome back to the holler. It is the second day of October. And today we have to uh, bail up the hay that we made last night. And had an opportunity to get in here and get that done yet. Got some fields we need to fertilize. Got some other work we need to get done here around the main farm. And we might, might have an opportunity to help out a, uh, a neighbor tonight. We have a new participant on the server. And they may need a little bit of help. We'll just have to wait and see. But first, we need to, uh, I say, get this hay up off the ground. My strategy did work. We already have our grass rebounding here, so maybe, just maybe, we'll be in a position where we could get another cut in real fast before, uh, before the death throes of winter take hold. Waylon, good evening. Simper, what's up, Bruce? And Avery, how is everyone doing today? You're doing better. Like I said, we have a new resident in town at the holler. They've taken over the arable farm and down by Optimus's chickens. I'm doing good. Doing good. A little busier earlier today. Uh, EM. Well, I don't know. What's your questions? We did, we did get a rather surprising blog post this morning. I say it was surprising because I got word of it at 4.30 in the morning. And the blog post released at 8 o'clock this morning, my time. Not exactly in a position to get any sort of video made given that type of a notice so we just posted it up on the community channel but yes we now have some stats on carrots we can go and visit those here in a brief respite once we get done our intro Tomorrow is also Friday, so we all know what that means after last week. Friday the 13th at that. Friday is also going to be our Forza Friday over at the Funhouse channel. We're going to be trying some new formats with Forza Motorsport over there in multiplayer. What's up, Farmer G? Well, Richard, one could speculate. One could definitely speculate. That's what it means. We also have a solar eclipse 
here in North America on Saturday if I am uh, up to speed with the latest interstellar news. Quite an interesting weekend for the superstitious Friday the 13th and a solar eclipse. What kind of signs could that be an indication of? I think our sunflowers are going to be ready next month so that would be Saturday maybe we'll be doing a Saturday afternoon live stream to bring in our sunflowers or to work on bringing in our sunflowers uh, well Richard to one degree I think trains are uh, a little unrealistic as far as the simulation aspect of the game not not taking product down to a, uh, a train depot if you will but the fact that the fact that you know you're not gonna be able to drive a train around park it and do anything like that as a as a farmer so I think trains how they were in 15 maybe were a bit more of a realistic aspect where you would drop product at a train depot and then hit a trigger which would cause the train to you know go off to the uh, to market to the port wherever the train was ultimately taking product to The addition of being able to drive a train around added in 17 kind of took that realism aspect away a little bit. So for me, trains are significantly underutilized because I very rarely use them other than occasionally selling things at a off-site, off-map sell point. Because lots of time the train sell point is more profitable. Maybe that's the story to get you a little off guard. Maybe you're too young to have grown up during the heyday of Friday the 13th movies in the theater in conjunction with Nightmare on Elm Street movies in the theater in conjunction with Halloween Michael Myers in the theater. Ah, uh, what a frightful, frightful decade the 80s were. Mark, what is up, sir? What is up? Mark is an expert on what it's like to be struck by a train in a first-person view when you have no idea whatsoever the train is coming. That's a great story right there.
Mark, what is up, sir? We are here on the holler, and I, you know what? Are you are you farming again? Because if you are, I got a farm for you. It's all about Piggly Wigglies. It's right up your alley. I'm gonna go show it to you right here in a little bit. Long time no see, man. Long time no see. <laughs> Mark was whacked by a train. He recorded it. It was, it was great. I so desperately need to put in that mod that stops you when you're full in a round bale trailer. Hello, hello, hello. I am loading up. You're back? Yeah, I've got back today. Did you go to the Smokies? Did. did you eat little Smokies while you're in the Smokies? No. Oh. Uh, no, we actually had we cooked out one night, and then next night we went to Five Guys because why not? It was it was the place with the least of weight. Ah. Uh, um, and we were hungry, and then we also ate a bunch of like junk. We went to Bucky's. Oh, we might be getting a Bucky's near us. Oh man, they have these thing called beaver nuggets. And I know ah. it sounds bad, but what they are is they're like a puffed corn, not not popcorn, but like a like a puffed corn. It's it's not late enough in the night to be talking about beaver nuggets. Oh dude, but they're so good and they're yeah, like sugar uh -huh. coated. You need oh. to bring that discussion up around eleven. <laughs> No beaver nuggets. So. When the restrictions come off. Copy that. <laughs> Mark's in chat. You got any words for the for the wizard of first person farm sim? I'm gonna go show him a farm I think he needs to join. I built it just for him. All right, let's go. Let's go, Mark. You ready? You ready? Right down the street from my place. I wish, I wish you could save server info. Right down this, right info. here. Down this feature. bumpy lane. Not super bumpy. Maybe it'll make it a little bit more bumpy. We have ourselves. An old rustic pig farm. You got a little log cabin. Right? Who doesn't like a little log cabin? Everybody's got to have a swing. You got a little carport. You got a picnic table and a barbecue around the back. All right, your back porch. Ready to just cop a squat. Check out the backfield. Maybe see some deer. Oh look, we even got some we even got some skis already for you. So you can go cross country skiing. We got the stack of wood right by the grill. Plus to heat the house. I can't open this because well I don't own it. But we got a rustic barn. Where you store all your old and rusties. You got your tools. You got your pigs. Okay, how did I turn this course play stuff off? I got <laughs> Yeah. I got we got an old rusty I don't ever use rusty it, Russian so. truck. R2. Some little silos. And that's it. That is it. Is there a way just to deactivate the whole thing? 
<laughs> I think I that's, yeah somehow I did I don't know. It, there's a whole bunch of menus in the escape menu. What's this here? And then as far as fields go, there's there's the fields right here between these two tree lines. Yeah, I'm just not not interested in course play. Not on this map. So you have that field. You yeah, have sunflowers. Deactivated. Deactivated. You've got <laughs> these fields here. Deactivated. Maybe that's all. <laughs> and then you got a field here. Or actually, I think two fields back here. So you got this back here. Is yours to farm to your heart's content? Now, I don't think this one's yours. Where are we at? All right. Nope, no, nope. that one's not yours. Although it probably technically it should be, because I don't know if there's access to there. All that can be yours. All you gotta do is the sign the deed. Sign the deed. We have a new player down at the arable farm. His name's Patrick. Hello, hello, Patrick. I don't know if he's in chat. As you said, Patrick, and I was, I got to take him. So no. Did you talk him? No, it's, <laughs> it's not my child. He's, he's busy. He's addicted to Baldur's Gate 3. Gotcha. All he does is create characters, play for a half hour, create another character. He's got... There's Patrick. He's got two laptops. One laptop is playing YouTube Baldur's Gate 3 videos, and the, the other lap is playing the game. It's like his <laughs> battle station on the dining room table. <laughs> I love it. That's great. My, uh, the gamer has been born. I have this older laptop, and my kid was like, hey, can I just play Team Fortress 2 on that? And I'm like, yeah, sure. So I set it up, and I opened the laptop, you know? It's this was a, a couple years back, and he's like, where's the other screens? I'm like, no, there's just one screen for it, but he, he's, so used, just, to, he's so used to my rig with three screens. He was like, yeah, no. Oh, uh, Mark promises in two weeks. He'll join us. Gotcha. I don't know, four weeks we're going to be on Zilonka. The new premium expansion map for Farming Stimulator 22. Uh huh. Uh huh. Did you re hear about? Did you hear about the the carrots? I saw the post. I uh, read a little bit. Not tons of info. Yes, I would love to give a vote for the combine stop. That's Patrick. That's me. All right, I don't, I don't, I can't see who's in chat. Okay, let's let's talk about carrots. I pulled up the blog post. Yeah. Carrots, parsnips, and red beets are soon added to Farming Stimulator 22 on November 14th. Carrots will have a yield of 77,000 letries per hectare. The average selling price of 13 at 20 per hectare per thousand per thousand. You're gonna need a whopping 10 liters of seed per hectare. Woo! Maybe bring them in your pocket. <laughs> Four months to grow these darn these darn red carrots of of goodness. Planted April through July, harvested August through November. Keep an eye out for the rabbits. Maybe. Maybe Elmer Fudd will make an appearance. Blue jeans, you know what is up? You can harvest them for four months, right? What is up? 
the harvester's one row wide. It's gonna take you that long to clean up the field. <laughs> well, I mean, it's their Pol it's a Polish map. Most fields are probably like a quarter of a hectare in size. First step after you prepare your field, as in cultivation, you're gonna have to hill it. This is a new stage, new step required with the premium expansion. So you're gonna have to use a hiller. So after hilling, your field will look like as if it's planted in potatoes because that's what the potato planter currently does is hills your crop. Then after hilling, you're gonna to need to plant it with a special planter that plants within the hills. We see that picture here. And then as far as harvesting goes, you're gonna be able to use one of the many new DeWolf harvesters. Included in the blog post is a picture of the four row, the massive four row carrot, parsnip, and red beet harvester. Here it's, here it's ironically showing harvesting red beets as opposed to carrots. Maybe a little bit of oops there. Then we have the trailed single row harvester harvesting carrots correctly this time. And that is pretty much it. So I'm guessing next Thursday we'll get a, a something on red beets. And then Thursday following that something on parsnips. Parsnips, yeah. You know, Makes not sense. to be not to be too too, you know, imaginative with only four weeks left to go. That sounds pretty fair. Oh, dang it, course play. You mess with my GPS buttons. Oh no. Ah, uh, wait, 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 wait. So, so I was incorrect. I, I had a little bit of a, of a rant that maybe was a little incorrect last night. I was I was ranting and saying dirty words about course play because I thought it screwed up my key binds. But it turns out it was something else. That ironically didn't screw with my key binds until course play was activated. Um, when you're out of the vehicle, can you not tab? I couldn't no, tab I could, anything. I could tab. Oh, can you get in and out of the vehicle? Mm-hmm. When you hit X, no, does it want you to create a course? Uh, no. See, I have custom key bindings for GPS, and now when I hit my key bindings for GPS, it pulls up course play menu. Oh, okay. So now I have to go find these stupid course play menus. So last night, when I jumped in... Do you want me to keep going while you're trying to fix your key binds? Just, oh, yeah, find, just find the uh, advanced farm manager and remove all the key binds. So last night when I jumped in, I couldn't, I couldn't tab the vehicles. It said I didn't have any um, hot vehicle tabbing buttons set up. I couldn't get in and out of certain vehicles with the E key. And then when I tried to unfold something, it kept saying that I didn't have my courses set. But most of those issues seemed to go away when I changed uh, the vehicle switching mode back to default. But somehow it wasn't set on default, which is apparently some advanced farm manager option. All right, I'm back, Hyde. I just I just had to delete one of my key bindings, yeah. Um, you got a mulcher? Caleb, what is up? Uh, we do get some new factories and buildings. I don't know how much. Well, uh, uh, yeah, they're listed over on the blog post. Once I get for, this field um, done, I'll I'll lease one for the addition. I think and it's then, uh, uh, like four or five new factories. If you want to mulch this field. And you know, definitely several new placeables. I'll just lease one at the shop. I'll just go ahead and lease it. Hey, did you get that cornfield harvested? I was going to help you, but I think when I jumped in, it looked like it was done. Yep, I got it cleaned up. Picked up a couple of 
really big toys on really big sale and got the help that way. Ooh, there's a telehandler on sale. That's nice. I saw that. So yeah, if there's any mods you all want to add, make sure you put them in rod requests. I will 100% forget between now and then. Right. There's a mulcher at the shop. Mr. Hyde. Right. I'll pick that up. Just to update everybody on the straw bale Optimus saga that we had Optimus last night, I figured out the problem once we got off the yeah, air. Yeah, except it's not ready. Ah, it's not. It's one of the fields. The issue was no, I really that the uh, the bales were not I owned just by me. Blow it under and seed stuff. No, no roller coaster. But we do have the ability to build. There. Um, pianos. So there is a piano factory that is basically using the same now, mechanic. Now my buttons are that, that the right? roller coaster and the boat. Boat right did in a premium or platinum. Ah, enjoying the FS as well tonight. Good deal, good deal. You putting uh, Starfield up for a little bit or ATS up for a little bit? Who has Forza Motorsport and wants to join us for tomorrow night's multiplayer antics? I work on Fridays. Well, that's a sacrifice you made to have all week off. True. I'll be there. Oh. I'm driving my tractor like you drive your 18 wheeler. Coming through on the right. Telehandler meandering its way down the highway. <laughs> Full throttle farming, it's the only way to go. <laughs> Optimus has about 30 cars speed up behind him. Did you feed, hi, did you feed my sheep? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I've been taking care of them every day after I got home from work. I forgot there is no, I didn't request that fast forklift in, so there is only this slow one. Okay. Let's go ahead and buy up our cows. Get our cattle in here. What farms are many, unclaimed at the moment? How many do we have? How many do we have? 25, okay. The farms that are unclaimed include pig farm, but you know, maybe, maybe Mark wants that one. The horse farm, the arable horse farm. That's it. Do you have to plow corn, or can you drill it over the top of corn? You don't have to. You don't have to plow it, but it'll. Uh, if you have a direct drill planter, it'll work. But uh, you lose yield loss, or you have yield loss if you don't plow it. Yeah. 
Yeah, if you have a direct drill, you can plan into anything. You just there's a little yield loss, I think, for not plowing it. Can't remember how much. All right, now let's take this down to ten. Oh, we have a little floating fence. Let's just ignore that. And then something we didn't do. Oh, no, I think it's under sheds. Okay. Oh, we got lots of shit. Harvest in the socks. Storage. Bale storage. Thought they were in the sheds. Did I fly past them? What up, everybody? Hey, how's it going? All right, let's see. Start of this tonight. That's feeling all right. Oh, there they are. Sinky, 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 sink. trip to the Great Smoky Mountains and uh, of course in Cades Cove and I was like I want to turn this into a farm sim map <laughs> the place is just Sure, I can get rid of that stupid top. Can I not get rid of that silly top? So, while I contemplate what I'm going to plant, how big of a world of hurt are you animal guys in for grass and straw and silage? I really don't need much for the oh. for the sheep because uh, I have I planted field three and I I. Has been. I only have like a hundred sheep, so I probably field three is going to keep me. For me, I don't know about other. Uh, I guess I can. If I add uh, sheep pens later, maybe I would need more. But right now, not on my end. All right, well. Oh, look at all those cows! I got a lot of cows now. Yes, you do. <laughs> Jeez, so please. Are you going to be in the market for grass and hay? Uh, I don't know. I'm planting grass now. Okay. 
like I said, I've got some fields that have popped wheat in them that I have to decide what to put in. I'm hoping I have enough hay. I've got 20 some bales of 9,000 liters each that will keep them fed until they make proper mixed rations. 420 Farmer, what's up, sir? Maybe wishful thinking, but I'm hoping I can get another cut before December. If you, if you cut after October, doesn't it stun it next year? I can never. I'm trying to remember that. Oh, you know me. I don't research. I just, yeah. I just wing it. Just go for it. I thought there. I thought if you cut it after October, it stunts the growth the following year. Oh, well, if you if you roll it, you should get a stage up, shouldn't you? Ah, uh, so if you cut it, then roll it. I can see. Yeah. I always forget about rolling grass. <laughs> always. I forget that whole mechanic exists. Just chilling like a villain. Yeah, I know if you roll it, it sets it back to like fresh mode. I definitely don't want to roll it now. I've had one growth stage on it. You basically need to roll it immediately following mowing it. Hey, Hyde, just keep track of your time and we can work out like an hourly rate. You want to do that? Yeah, sure. We can do we'll that. Come up, we'll come up with something. I think it should be like, you know, $1,000 an hour. Yeah, sounds fair. Farm semi economics. Yeah. That's awesome. Whatever. Yeah, I know uh, just because Nuka told me it's five hundred dollars an hour just to rent a harvester. <laughs> and that's just for the harvester. <laughs> Could you imagine? Oh, Time's hour. money, man. I don't have time to be sitting around waiting for this thing to unload. I need to unload on the go. Alright, we're going to unload this here. I'm going to get rid of this base tax. I, I mean, honestly, 500 per hour for the top end or yeah it's not that much <laughs> but i know like with them uh, there's they do dry land farming so it's it's thousands of acres so they can put a lot of hours on equipment what? No, I agree. You didn't miss anything. We're just collecting our bales, and we're gonna put on our forks and uh, feed our cows. Spread these bales hours out. Does it take up to harvest? Thing parked. 
find what's the little emoji thing for? This is just there. To entertain yeah. you, the viewer. Okay. You know, just to say you're happy. And you know it, clap your hands. Oh, so, uh, it's not related, but kind of related. Did you see the Discord store stuff? I saw something pop up. I saw it had lots of words. And then I got rid of it. So you can monetize your Discord channel. Uh, um, it, you could do that. Apparently. You could sell all kinds of stuff through your channel. Like stickers and emojis and all kinds of stuff. And then you can, I guess, get revenue off of it. So, just so you know. So I can nickel and dime my community? If you wanted to. Yep. yep. I have a Discord with like 12 people in it, so... Uh, <laughs> I've got... Mine is not for that because I spend 90% of my time on yours. But I was just letting you know I saw that. If that was something that interested me. Now, boosting unlocks features and stuff, right? Like numbers boost or whatever. Yeah, boosting is. But that's like. That's like they paid money to Discord and then they get to boost. Right. Whichever one, yeah. Right, so that's like that's like a donation. Gotcha. But you don't get any revenue for boosting, right? It just unlocks features in your channel. Right. Maybe. Yeah, that's what I thought. Oh man, we lost it. Uh, Avery, I have no idea what you're talking about. I know what kind of bug that David is. David and I were playing, we played Emergency. <laughs> it's so funny. We went to Five Guys last night, right? And uh, I go in and my son, he looks on the wall and he says, Dad, it says it's the best $5 hamburger you can eat. And I'm like, Bugby, look at the menu. There are no $5 hamburgers. They used to be $5. <laughs> so so I pointed to the staff and I was like, hey, you guys might want to actually take that one down. <laughs> I'd like to order your $5 hamburger, please. Yeah, they've doubled in price, pretty much, from well, you know, 14 years ago. You go there to get the, the 12 pounds of potatoes. Oh, yes, so good. I actually ate, we, I ordered a large, which I forgot was pretty much like a whole brown bag full of freaking <laughs> fries. You. I was going to say, and you go and you wait for the five guys virgin to show up and order a large fry and everyone just but laughs at him. I ordered it for four of us and it was still too many damn fries for the wife I and two kids but we uh I, I really have never had them with malt vinegar before and I was like what? well why not I, I just never have done that in Old Bay Oh, perfect. So I, I did some malt vinegar on them, and I was like, this is actually pretty good. So, um, yeah, I'll have to, I, they, I wish they had old bases. Man, you need to bring your own in. Yeah, just bring your bring shaker your in with me. <laughs> but the burger was good. It was expensive, but it was good. The ones where I live have the fries with Old Bay on them. Oh, they season. The, but I did not extra. Like, you can't get. Yeah. Okay, yeah. I, I grew up in Maryland. You can't have too much Old Bay. So but yeah, the malt vinegar with the fries was really good, actually. I was like, wow, this is. Yeah, boardwalk fries. Fries in a cup, you sprinkle some vinegar on there and douse it with a little bay. 
It's a whole new level of yum. And then uh, Flossie, she had to get candy apples because she loves not caramel apples, candy apples, the red ones. And she ate them both uh, when we got back to the cabin. I say, like, well, so much for taking some home. Uh, <laughs> my kid, uh, of course, we went to the video game arcade and spent eighty dollars for some Tootsie Rolls and uh, <laughs> some other stuff. Because arcades have no games anymore. They're all just prize games. Alright, now we gotta get some water. Get all tickets. Yeah, I, I wanna play like actual games. So I think I was saying my we figured out our straw problem is I didn't own the bales because they were owned by Optimus's farm. And since they were owned by Optimus's farm, I couldn't couldn't put them in my owls. So I just used easy dev controls to delete the bales and I spawned in the appropriate number of new bales. here. Let's go water the other side. I only have a 105 cows. That's it. That's it. Um, I think I they're have, all being displayed too. I have 55 sheepies. They should, they should double up here in a couple months. Well, not a couple months. I got uh, 350, no, 360. 360 times. That's a lot of beef. Call Wendy's because we found it. Ah, uh, where's the beef? <laughs> I'll tell you what, that, that used to be a good hamburger right there. Wendy's. The Wendy's burger? Yep. Back in the day, it used to be top notch. But it's Actinator. still pretty good. But, uh, yeah. Well, uh, that's Dave, the crazy that Dave's thing. Dave's double with, with bacon is good. Yeah. No, it's good. But the crazy thing is, is it's it's like 8 or $9 for freaking uh, Wendy's burger. Uh, I remember when Hardy's did their whole restructuring. Do you, Klein, do you remember the Hardee's where you could buy fried chicken and hot dogs and all kinds of so, so, we didn't really have parties in Maryland. Gotcha. We had Roy Rogers. And so I'm kind of jaded that uh, I prefer Roy Rogers. I think Hardee's is, is a knock, knock off. No, I remember the Hardys when they they were like the purple and orange color sign, <laughs> and they sold everything and nothing was good. <laughs> you could get a bucket of chicken, a hot dog, you know, a burger, fries. 
David says if you go to Australia, you can have some Wendy's, but it's it's ice cream. Now, see, see, Roy Rogers had really good chicken, and then like I don't know, at some point, Roy Rogers and Hardee's had the same parent company, and then like Hardee's got the Roy Rogers chicken, and I was like, and you all stole it. Right? You didn't hmm. earn it. You just stole it. Basically, the only reason I go to Harvey's anymore is the chicken tenders they have are really good. Carl's Jr. Is it Carl's Jr. that owns that? Well, Carl's Jr. is, I think, the western states yeah. where the equivalent of parties. Same star and everything. Yeah, Carl's Jr. and parties, the same thing. So what made... What makes Roy Rogers kind of unique is they had, I think Roy Rogers and like Arby's is, is the same parent company because, because like the, they have Arby's sauce there. Of course it's not named that, but it tastes just like it. But they had, like if you order a bacon cheeseburger, you literally get a bottom patty, meat, cheese, bacon, and a top patty. And then, and then out in the middle of the dining hall is is a fixins bar with all your your traditional toppings that you know would be on there: your lettuce, tomato, onions, pickles, condiments, whatever. So it's like you know, make it your way because there's the fixins bar. Go, go put your fixins in it. All right, so. We fed our cows. I think there's some one like that around here. And their burgers, they had burgers. It was delicious. In the same way, they had this a little, little, little you know, menu. Mini buffet bar with all these toppings. Uh, we need to go. You could just make your burger however you wanted. It was great. They went out of business though. We need, need to go get our corn head. Chris, it's the uh, in the title. The holler. The holler is the map. I almost got my first the bale map of cotton. Is just fields, oh roads. The town and cell points. None of the farms are are built out, so it's kind of a a hybrid no man's land style map where everything is there but the farms themselves, and then you, as the player, build out your farms. So what I did back in January of this year is I did a build farm build series where I built out all the farms that we are playing on right now and I've always wanted to play on that build out but never did now we're doing it me and the guys are building it out when I get the corn head back maybe we'll go visit each farm but I've got linked in the description. Should be a link to the right. farm One build second, playlist. Sir. It's fi it's six episodes total. It's Five live out. streams, and then the last video is recorded of kind of Walk a comparison of a before and after of each <laughs> area. Pick it up later. <clears throat> So I believe we have a total of nine farms here. We have a chicken farm, a arable farm. Speaking of cotton. We have a I've pig farm, a sheep farm, a horse farm, a horse the, and arable John farm. Deere baler, you can't own and a portions. beef farm. Did yeah. I say a dairy? It's beef and dairy. So it's like seven or eight farms built out. We also have a contractor yard. 
fucking the John Deere one's more expensive. Yeah. It's it's the green tax. Green tax, yeah. That's why you won't find a a John Deere on my farm. Deer stuff. It's just surprised that giants would make it where you couldn't unload an unfinished bale the cod hey, we, we should be happy that they allow us to repair our tractors on our farms and not drive them into the dealership because it, I was doing contracts well what's up they're kind of broken because the game gives you that John Deere harvester but you can't finish the contract because you can't unload your bale it's kind of weird Well, you could unload a partial. You can with the case, but you can't with the John Deere. Well, let's see. That's what you get. We're going with the deer. Well, no, it was a. It they was tell a, you how to farm. It's it just like a, Apple. Uh, they, they tell you how to how to farm. No, it was no. A, it was a contract, so I couldn't pick. Just messing around in GE. That's all. Busy Main Street. He's playing on Alma. He's got some gameplay on Alma. I've downloaded it and looked at it, but I haven't played it. Hopefully that's something I can get to later, but probably won't because there'll be something else that'll <laughs> pop up before. And that's the way it always is. Yeah. 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 I assume there wasn't a bigger one. So no. I really want to spend time on the Polish map. Farmer well, G's on Alma right now. He's getting it's like a tour of the states. You can only get so accurate. Like like these poles. Right? We don't have poles where you have pegs going all the way down the bottom. And they definitely wouldn't have these new kind of gang these sky lines so Dakota close to each other. And then only a single it might be bigger than that. Okay. I'm playing uh, a 16 map or a 16x map called uh, Land Down Under. There's one field that runs the whole west side of the map. It's like 5,000 acres. It cost, it, cost, it cost me $43 million to purchase it, and I'm two months away from harvesting meat. I think with six tractors out there, or six harvesters, it should probably take about eight, maybe nine hours. That sounds horrible. Yeah, this... I'm doing a big chicken farm on this multiplayer, but I, I bought one plot of land. That's plenty... Uh, it's that, it's the South Dakota map. I can't think of which one it's called.
but with uh, with Nuka and Cooley and, and that bunch, like uh, a 4x map's not big enough. Like they <laughs> they run out of land. Well, it's, they just need other endeavors. <laughs> they 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 go full beast mode. Man, that's great. I'm over there with my little hundred acre farm. <laughs> I feel like I'm big. I tell you, there are some awful brave drivers around here. I need to get, get well to make Kate's code, man. Kate's code. It's just going to break traffic for real. All right. There we go. All right. So I said we would show off these farms for anyone who hasn't seen them all. This is our horse farm, the farm. Right off the road, we got a nice fancy. Of course, you know if you're farm, if you're a horse farm, you got money, so you're, you're going to encase your mailbox in brick. Of course you are. Coming into the farm, we've got a nice solar-powered bale storage building. Right next to that, we have a one of our horse pastures, and then right beside that, we have ourselves a second horse pasture. Right adjacent to that, we have some nice seating, and then we have a jumping arena. Over here we have a machine shed. Complete with workshop inside. Our farm silo is located inside of here. We do have some bale storage tucked around the back. Gas pumps. We've got some herbicide, liquid fertilizer, and solid fertilizer storage. Some more storage. We have a very nice farmhouse. And then around the side, we have a greenhouse. Little picnic area, playground for the kids. And then around the front, we have ourselves a parking lot for the workers and visitors. And of course, since you are probably going to be a little pretentious, if you have horses, well, you're going to have an electric charging station for those people who drive the e vehicles. We've seen our farm here, the one we're running, our beef farm. We've got quite the cattle yard, grain silos, storage, fermenting silos. We have our farmhouse, three greenhouses, maintenance workshop. Over here we have Sir Raznak. Harvesting some cotton. I just realized I don't have a cell point for, uh, for fabrics or clothes. That's going to make uh, sheep tough. There's to sell everything. Yeah, I'll have to put it. Some, some industrious modder made a sell everything mod. So you can sell stuff that map makers forget. Here's sheep farm. So we have a modest little farmhouse. I'll drop a 
So point in next. It's already in garage. Is it, I'm not getting the prices for my. I need to put it down, but I realized uh, one it sheet pin last yeah. time. Second sheet pin. Gotcha. Yeah, I saw Bail the storage. I, I, I was like, is it? Is it? Workshop. Silo. And there you go. And this is going to be pallet storage, like for your excess wool. Then we have the horse arable farm. And y'all will have to excuse my driving if I run over you on the road. Apparently my wheel reset the dead zone to, oh, 900 degrees at some mm. point in time. <laughs> Here we have the oh, horse right and like with a, with a arable farm. <laughs> this one is open. We have another farmhouse. That's how I always drive. With a little side garage. Some machine Whoa. storage. Tank slapper, here we come. Got our horse pasture back here behind that. Some large scale machinery storage. We have four grain bins. A uh, storage barn. I like the river on this map. This is like how it's. And then um, it immediately butts up organic? against yeah, the uh, the terrain. against the field. Well, it's very very homey for me because that's I live over here. We kinda, have we have the you know, it's dairy farm. Uh, it looks like the dairy farm like is where I live. currently in the process of being uh, reimagined. Rolling hills, if you will. little rivers. So up here we had, before it was torn down, <laughs> Grandpa's farm. We had a farmhouse. We had a little workshop there. Then we had a cow building, barn, and a couple other little things. And then <laughs> it was associated. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> what? I just, of the field right through the yard. Oh, yeah, you know, like, it's, it's it's being reimagined. I like it. It's like it's like the reverse of of urban development. <laughs> I can't get rid of some of the fences in the house, so I just work around what I can work around. There you go. So that was connected to this. This is the modern side of the dairy operation. That's okay, I nearly drove my combine into the river earlier because there's that steep there bank. Are, and there are four animal pins in the there. Turn, it filled up and went from 9 miles an hour to 25 miles an hour. And yeah. Uh, this has been changed around a fair bit, but still. You kind of got the idea. This was a dairy farm. There are actually tire prints in the river. Now let's make our way over to the chicken. So then we had a chicken farm we built out. And the chicken farm actually has a roadside egg cell point. There's some egg storage building. Of course, a farmhouse. Everyone has their own unique farmhouse. Okay. A large chicken coops. Silo, and then Optimus has put in a fleet of greenhouses. We have the arable farm, which just got taken over. So we have our farmhouse, right? We got a little garage around back, play area, pool. Like greenhouse spot on the map that little road bend 
Machine storage. Fertilizer, herbicide, storage. Grain bins galore. And then we have some bees around the back. And this is the field I thought we were going to help harvest tonight, but he got it all done already. And then we have the contractor yard, and the contractor yard actually includes... Yeah, he might need some help with plowing the field. <laughs> uh, good thing I don't plow. Whew, that's a hard job. We've got a little corner convenience yeah, area. Yeah, by the way, if anyone can that's, just jump down to my farm and turn off the, the tractor. I forgot it. Left it right in. Yeah, well, technically I got disconnected. I'm not loading back in. <laughs> Going to bed. Time for the night. Alright, siphon you, all, siphon all the fuel off of it first. <laughs> But yeah, I got it covered for you. I am not having a long night tonight. I'm usually Thursday's my late night, but I've been up all day. So. I think I think you like the windy river. Plus, it's kind of green and muddy looking. Yeah, it just it just kind of meanders around. It, it looks like home. I, if a little little more hills, with, uh, yeah, a little more. Yeah, that's like how the forest. Mm -hmm. Ironically just, enough, it's the insects that make this feel like home to me. The cicadas <laughs> and the crickets. There you go. See, being an optimist thinks it's horrible. I love the critters mod. It's one of my top ten mods, and I know it's so silly, but it's... I just hate it because those light bugs are showing up as artifacts. So, I'm constantly thinking that my GPU is dying. <laughs> oh, they don't show up as little dots? Yeah, flashing dots. Like, when your GPU is going hell mad Dude. and it is going to die soon. Do you not have lightning bugs? Over there? It's, it's like, I think you would freak out if you were over here at night. Like, your eyes have artifacts. <laughs> uh, we have some. I have not that much. I think in the past there were more of them. Yeah, yeah they're not as not as prevalent as they were when I was a kid. Yeah, where I where I live, uh, it's like one of the two places on the planet where you can come watch them all get in sync. Oh, nice. All right. Yeah, let's... and they have. Let's it's, do a river run. We have a lot of lightning bugs here. I'm going to do a river run. We're just going to fly mm -hmm. just above the water. Yeah, if everybody's wondering, uh, that's what the river looks like in Tennessee. It's just murky. <laughs> I do know that we have some mutated mosquitoes. <laughs> well, that sounds exciting. Yeah. Things are like two centimeters long, and if you kill it, like you, you'll have like uh, five liters of blood dropping out of it. <laughs> Vampiristic. Yeah. Yeah. If you, the mosquitoes around here are known for carrying small dogs away. Welcome to South Texas. Yeah, it seems like some of them make it way over here. <laughs> you mutated. Yeah. It's Ka Tim. Thank you for the sub. Ah, uh, Chris, it's it had great starts, great bones with get the map. Tons and at least not where I'm at. They're not too too bad. I'm um, coming up to where the river forks around. Uh, that little island. This little island of trees.
I like how the river is shallow enough that you can actually see if you get up close. You can see the bottom since it's so murky. You know, you only you, see the bottom see for a little bit. You'll see combine tracks in the river if, you're, if you get to the right spot. Oops, a map. It was like a British map. I think it was 17 and 19 where the farm was out on an island. I can't remember the name of that one. Blue something. I can't even remember it. I think. But I always thought that map was really, really cool. Map. And the Nitro Dad. Did Nitro Dad's map the 19 that you guys played multiplayer on didn't it have a big island you could farm? I can't remember. Uh, I don't think so. The one where you had the interstate on it. <laughs> but then, uh, the, but then Will had the whole island. <laughs> I'm coming around your bend. I think we need to split off and go down the side river. South of uh, the farm, Will says. Yeah, did we do another one that was in the middle of nowhere? Um, it was like really steep, or am I thinking of something? For FS seventeen, I thought Will did. Another yeah, one. he did this crazy little small island. Yeah, it was that little tiny island. And yeah, that one, that map was pretty neat though. Pretty neat. Your shop was like a dock. Um. Yeah, I can't remember what that. Come through here with your fishing boat. You gotta make sure you don't get hung up on a these logs I under the river. There was um, sixteen X. Island map in 19. Pink. Mr. Pancake! Yeah, it was something like uh, made by one of the island in the North Sea by the Denmark. Well, not North Sea, but uh, the Jutland. Alright, we're coming to the fork. We're going to take a right. That, that Banco Island map was. It gave me anxiety. Cause some of the hills were so steep. What the heck is that? Alright, who has a dog? Because he's over here swimming in the river. <laughs> I think you put a dog house on my farm, but I don't know that you put a dog on it. I, I, I don't know, but there's a dog over here swimming in the river. I see him. <laughs> I don't just... know, I found like, there was a dog on my house, on my farm, but I never saw a dog house, so I don't know. He's fishing. Mr. Pancake, I made the intro in Premiere Pro. Yep, it's one of the mutts. Adobe Premiere Pro. Terrorizes the deer. Cotton harvest is completed. Got about 37,000 liters of cotton. Okay. That'll be worth a pretty penny. Yep, wants to turn it into shirts. You said you were making socks. Well, I can't make... There, there are no socks, but... I'm okay, pretending. Well. Pretending I'm making socks. That'll be worth a pretty nickel at that point. <laughs> Clothing is... Amazing money. If I remember right. So that's the river. Right, let's get back. Optimus, you gonna keep that cotton field or we got stuff to Negatory. do. I don't know. I might as well since it's already there. At least I hope it will turn ready to harvest next month. I'm gonna keep I just at least 
my cotton harvester, so I'm going to keep it so I don't have to pay the setup fee. All right, we need to... Yeah, I was really hoping it would be ready this month, but... No it's, yeah, it has paralyzed. like, what, 27 growth stages, so you can't <laughs> tell the difference between the greens. Yeah, additional field info would be a lovely mod. Uh, we need to fertilize. What fields? Seven. I thought that was seen. I don't know. We need to fertilize seven. Obviously oh. isn't. Well, I parked my, That's uh, good. My cotton harvester good. here. And... Yeah, we just need to fertilize seven. Well, the problem is I'm going to be at work for the next three days. So, so you'll be maybe in November when you get back. Yeah, I should still be able to harvest it. Just parked the rental here in the woods. We don't really have a lot more to do tonight. I'm going to try to carry it with the front loader. Okay. You can come mow for me, Klein. What? You can come mow my field if you want. Do you have grass that's ready to cut? Mm -hmm. It's just first stage ready, but that's all I'm gonna do. Oh no, it might be full stage ready next month. Yeah, but I, I'm not gonna. Uh, I, I don't. I just don't have any grass ready. Really. <laughs> so I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna take an early cut. I was doing early cutting. So you're saying you want me to go mow your grass? If you want to, if you wanted something to do, more than more than welcome to. Well, I, I gotta fertilize this field first. Oh, I I just looked up and saw you. I heard you saying you didn't have much to do. So I was... no, not past this. I don't know how long this won't take. Long. So the general consensus. I had to step away for dinner. The general consensus is everybody's set for grass. I I am, because I don't think you're going to be able to plant grass and get it to grow any faster than what I already have ready, or already in the ground. Yeah, no, I'm not going to, but I just was yeah. thinking, coming up short, if y'all were going to come up short. I don't know. I, I, I won't come up. I won't, yeah. I know I'm not going to. I'm looking at having to plant. I can either get some weed in today or tomorrow. Or I wait three months, four or five months, and put oat or corn down again, or soybean. Oh no, you got you got four pretty nice sized fields. I got a lot of fields, and I got uh, three of them. I got a, I got all four of them. I got to turn over with the uh, plow. And a little one. Oh, I mean, you don't have to. They got withered crops on them. I do have to. You, you can can't just, grow withered crops. You can just cultivate them. Well, no, that didn't work. I was like, I wonder if I could pick a cotton bale up with my uh, front loader. Nope. A little heavy? Yeah, just. Yeah, that's just not going to work. Just go with that. Just put enough weights in the back. Oh, no. Like it. You can't even stab cop. You can't stab it. You won't, you won't stab it. Let's 
strange. What do I owe you for the mulching? Uh, your soul. <laughs> Why? Do you have a wind rower? I do not. I don't have any grass equipment yet. Oh, that's an ironic. Being that you have sheep. I just have it. Um, so, so if no, I mow, no. then you'll jump in my other tractor and wind row behind it. Yeah, let me see. Um, I don't think I bought anything. Are you bailing? I have, a, I, I have a mower and I have a round baler, but I, I didn't buy a wind rower because I just put a front mower on and dragged my baler behind. So I kind of had like a, a single pass baling. Thing. Wow, that takes you forever. But I found out I can't put grass bales in those GTX storages. They have to be hay. Why not? So it won't. They won't take it. You have it to configure no... it. Yeah, you have to change have to from hay to grass. Menu and configure it. Oh, I didn't even think about that. It just said grass not accepted here. <laughs> but I guess I can configure it now. I forgot you could configure it. I thought it was it's just okay. placed that way. It's okay. Even though you have thousands of hours of farm soon, we'll help you out. Thank you. <laughs> Anything to keep you humble. It's important. <laughs> oh, I think I'm pretty humble when it comes to my farm sim expertise. Now, when it comes to glorious hair, I have that. I still think you missed out on an opportunity to eat little Smokies in the Smokies. <laughs> you ever been to uh, Gatlinburg? Or... No. No. Never been. So just imagine like a boardwalk, but in the mountains, right? So they have this one main street. It's just littered with shops and arcades and entertainment and of course they have food stands right next to the sidewalk you know people are cooking like cheesesteaks and sausages and onions oh it's like everywhere you turn it just smells like food <laughs> so it's a great place to get fat oh man yeah because there'll be one little stand and they'll be cooking like a, you know, Italian sausages, with peppers and onions, and then right next to it's like a fudge shop. <laughs> oh, there's all kinds of candy stores and bakeries. And it's just ridiculous. So when you walk in and say, I'll take some. I say, what would you like? Yes. Yes. Just bag it up. Give me a give me a five pound sampler of everything. But yeah, it's just let's imagine a boardwalk just in the mountain. Ah, oh, Will's getting hungry. They have this one place. It's a. Uh, it's actually themed, kind of like an old school, midway. Uh, carnival, type of theme, and they have. They have like these open, window grills, with all different kind. Oh, it's so freaking good! You just walk by it, and you're like, I just ate, but I want to eat one of those now. <laughs> Classic carnival games. Yeah, carnival stuff, yep. They chuck the milk ball at the milk well, they, bottles. They used to have that, but now they've, of course, converted to the ticket games. Everyone else.
Are you gonna do the uh, solar eclipse thing? Give me a work. Yeah, I'll be working. When is it? Uh, I think it's Saturday. Saturday. I thought it was tomorrow. Solar eclipse on Friday the 13th. Dun, uh -oh. dun, dun. Something is gonna happen. Mr. Hyde, what do I owe you? Uh, we just want to say 1100 for that. Yeah. Okay, guys, I'm gonna leave you now. It's a bit late, and I might want to get some more sleep. <laughs> see you, man. Yeah, see ya. Yeah. Good night. They have enough product. Now I can start paying off my one hundred thousand dollars in loans. Oh, just a hundred K in loans? Man. Yeah. I might get to pay off loans in a couple of years. So if you want to uh if the client makes it over to Mo, if you want to win row behind him. Yeah. I'm halfway done in the fertilizer. I honestly don't have that much left in me this evening. Copy that. <laughs> well, thank you for the help you have provided. Yeah. Yeah, my tank's running running on empty tonight too. Ah, uh, don't they have Red Bull for that? Um, all caffeined up. You know, when I don't work nights, I'm an old man. Like I want to be in bed by nine and up by five. No, I want to be in bed at nine and up by like. <laughs> I can't do that. I can't either. If I go to bed at nine, I'm up at three. Yeah, I'm. Uh, if I eight hours max, like I, I really struggle to stay asleep for eight hours. I struggle to get more than six a night. And I even chemically induce my coma with Ambien sometimes, and I still struggle to sleep. <laughs> I feel fine though. It's just when it's time for bed, it's time for bed. Yeah, it's my wife, my wife got a new, us a new mattress, and yeah, it's you wake up and you're just like it's it's just cocooned around you. Oh. Like I don't really feel like trying to claw out of this bed. I'll just stay here. We uh we invested in a new mattress a couple years back, and. It was like the first time in my life where I could actually afford a good one. <laughs> and I was like, oh my gosh, this is amazing. What have I been missing my whole life? Oh, I think it's, yeah, it's, it's definitely undersold how, how important a good mattress is. It's like they're all memory foam now. Ours is one of those hybrid, it's like a phone, but like an internal uh, spring kind of, I don't know, I can't even, it's, it's... All I know is, is I tried some melatonin one night to try and help me get to sleep. I didn't sleep for three nights. <laughs> no, melatonin. Um, That's not melatonin. work for me. Well, it has a lot of draw, a lot of drawbacks too. And, uh, I found a couple little tablets off of one of my friends for her kids, and yeah, that did not go well for me. 
I wish I'd have had that stuff back when I was in college and trying to cram for study. So it, it's um, there's a lot of data, like, <laughs> especially for kids. Not oh, to take that's it. a good one. Um, so you kind of have to be careful. It makes me like bipolar the next day. <laughs> I get horrible mood swings after I take it. Farmer G says, as you get older, your mattress has better memory than you. <laughs> so true. I can argue that. Nope. Yeah, we were. I, w I was in bed before ten o'clock. Both, both nights we were staying at the cabin. They had they had pretty good beds. <laughs> I was like, ooh, I'm going to see. All right, two more passes. I right, have an up and a down, and then I'll be done. And I'll bring my M8 over there with my trail mower. It doesn't swath drop, does it? No. No, that would be that would be too convenient for you. I need a contractor on you. Got it. Mm -hmm. And done. I'm just hauling, hauling cotton to my uh, my spinnery that I own. I still have to. I bought a little. I bought the little lot on the I don't know what saw, field 38. It's a little corner lot by the road. I'm gonna put the the tailor there. I haven't looked. Is there a bakery on this thing? I think there. Uh, uh, I don't know what's. Ah, uh, no. I think all that was included was a dairy and a spinnery by default. I might have to carve a little corner out of this property of mine and put a little bakery there. That's why I bought the little corner lot on 38. It's like a perfect little. Put a little business on it. Got a little bitty field over here, 35. Oh, I dropped. Yeah, 35. Drop that down. Okay, let's go. A little bitty. Coming off of the American Falls. Texas Flats. So, yeah. <laughs> Alright. Alright, we're done. We'll be later in a minute. Okay. Texas Flats is a pretty good map. Alright. I like that stockyard that's on there, the beef cattle yard that has all the yes. pens. I like that it's simple. It doesn't have all the fancy town and that kind of stuff. It always like uh, map makers utilize the space well, like when there is a town, but it's. I don't know. I feel like some maps, it's like, where's all the farmland? Because it's, it's tied up in all the good stuff. That in, I am. I am autistic, and let me tell you. UMRV drove me nuts with the farm junk. <laughs> the stuff, farm junk you couldn't get rid of until we made the other version of the map that moved it all. Said, uh... Farm junk and we do not Let's go, it. let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. I just remember when Ravenport came out in 17. There was just trash everywhere. Ah. <laughs> Well, you know, we're going to make Ravenport good again with City Skylines, too. Right, here I come. I'm 
driving into town. Is it a dogwood, Will? Corn is uh, one corny merits another corny. We're getting our uh, year one season pass money's worth out of this server. Sure hope this was the grass you wanted me to cut. Yes, that is it. You have a uh, wind rower that can. Uh, I do. It's, it's yellow, also. You might have to grant me contractor status. Sound to, sound so pleased. I mean, you're running up hours on my vehicles. Oh, yeah, I'll pay you. It's maintenance. It's, when people want me to worship. Hey. Third cosmetic in 22, isn't it? Is it paint? Paint and dirt. Dirty and look like they brought half the field back home with them. So shine That's the way it works. Man's feet. That's working man's equipment. Who's got time to stand out there and pressure wash it when you're just gonna put it back in the field tomorrow? All right, it's done. I used to be that way, and then I played multiplayer with the uh, scooter and. Uh, you, you you washed it, fueled it, repaired it, and everything before you put it away. Now, if I borrow some of these equipment, it will be returned, fueled, repaired, and uh, clean. But my stuff, not it. My stuff looks like my pickup truck. Return it how you found it. It was dirty. <laughs> as long as I can see out the windshield, it's clean. There you go. <laughs> it ain't a proper tractor unless you can plow on the hood and plant. There we go. be reading the book about anti-gravity while he's sitting on the throne. That's one thing you want to make sure it does go down. That's, that's 
a bad day. Go over here to my neighbor's house. Let's see what he's got stashed up here at the farm. You're definitely going to want to bail this because if I bail it, I think I might own it. Yeah, yeah, I'll bail. Although that mod that came out today that lets you uh, change the ownership of the bales while you're bailing. Really nice. That's conveniently <laughs> came out at the right time. Incredibly <laughs> I mean, we had GTX's transfer ownership mod, but that would require you to like unload the bales onto the trigger, change the ownership, load them back up. But if I could just tell the baler, hey, make make Raz's bales for me, right? So Patrick was saying this is his first uh, multiplayer dive. It is. I got a thousand hours in this game, and this is my first dive into multiplayer. Well, it's, I warn you, some people go multiplayer and then never go back. I was willing to invest in Season 1 pack and then the other two mods that you don't get with the Season 1 or Season 2 pack, like pumps and hoses. Ah, uh, pumps and hosiery. That's fun yeah. when you build out a VGA. You yeah. can do that over there on your giant dairy farm with all that grass. You can make a modular VGA. Well, I guess I could turn this into a dairy farm if I wanted to, but I'm more, I don't like cow farming. We'll see how much of this I can get turned over tonight and get wheat on it. I'm gonna go. Good night, sir. Go. Oh, I love that nice rake. That is very nice. What a quality implement. Quite high end. Only the finest. Pretty sure they had that rake at the uh, farm show this year. I know they had this mower at the farm show. That's a good mower. I think. That Vermeer pack and Kubota are probably my favorite. Favorite two packs for 22. I mean, I like, I like the silver run. It just, I don't know. I wish I had more, more farming. Yeah. Yeah, I think they could have cut back the logging by like, you know, 25, 30, and still would have been pretty good. Their world, you just play in it.
there you go. A little bit. Oh, Green Bean Bo has the very question you were commenting on earlier about cotton harvesters and unloading them on a contract when they're not full. Mm, yeah, you can't. <laughs> I take it you've got the John Deere cotton Unless harvester? Unless it's the case one, you can't. John Deere one seems to Artisan not let you unload it. Are you looking for work? Sure. You want to pull this uh, wind rower? I'll grab my baler. Yeah, I can do that. Alright. Um, I don't know if I can use that. That's with the plans. Oh, uh, I have to do some configuring. your baler now. I just couldn't remember what shed I put it in. Uh, you guys have fancy massive Ferguson round baler? I got the uh, Kuma. I think it's the Kuma. Oh, the basic Kuma. Yeah, just a little one. I don't have access to this thing. Oh, I got a grant you. <laughs> we both have, we have to do like dual contract. <laughs> You can use my stuff, it's just not on your land. Alright, go for it. Alright. So, you said I can... So yesterday, yesterday I was in the campus police office doing some training with them, and this this officer was talking about talking about he was he was in an unmarked uh, explorer earlier. And he's like, yeah, most people just you know walk right by and don't even notice me, but you walk by and you do a double take, and then you're like, what are you doing sitting sitting back here? I'm like, well, I like how you keep a straight face when you say unmarked car, because we all know that unmarked cars are completely obvious. But they're only unmarked to, to like, no one. Yes. Although, I, honestly, the other day, I saw uh, uh, it was an unmarked Honda Accord. It was a Honda. I think pretty sure it was a Honda that had pulled somebody over, and I was like, "Well, that's different." <laughs> you know, usually it's a an American brand. It was a very it was a very well done unmarked. Civic? Uh, it was a, their larger sedan, which is what it was. It was very, very well disguised. Get this mode before the top of the hour. There you go. It's like it looks like it was destined to be. I saw this. I saw this funny uh, Instagram video where these these younger guys were trying to fix their lawnmower. And they're like, "Do you know how to do this?" Like, "No, I don't know how to do this." 
so they they're like let's call dad and then it has like this dramatic scene where dad jumps out of the truck he's got his tool belt he's like flipping a screwdriver in the air like a superhero coming to the rescue super dad coming to the rescue he can fix anything like mikey dad, dad can fix anything watch it uh, I saw what you did in my rig. Alexa t shirt the engineer engineer spreadsheet worksheet. Does it move? Yes no. Is it supposed to? Yes no. It's either duct tape or WD forty. Does it move? Yes, is it supposed to? No. Duct tape. There's a, a, speaking of engineers ones, there's a, I think it's, it's a Venn diagram of these circles. And then, like, there's uh, math skills, engineering skills, social skills, drinking skills, people skills. It depended on where you fall within those is your job. So, like, the engineer has... Uh, has math and engineering skills, but no people skills or other <laughs> stuff. But then the accountant has math skills, uh, but no engineering skills. So they can tell you what's wrong, but they can't. They they don't know how to fix it. <laughs> yeah, there's a. Uh, like the, I think uh, the company lawyers were drinking and uh, like evil skills or so. I can't remember. It was pretty funny. So who has math and people skills? Uh, I don't think that was an option. Or engineering <laughs> and people skills. I think that was salespeople. No, and they just no. had. Salespeople 100% have no engineering skills. No engineering skills. I can't remember. It's a it's a new Help desk. Video. Help desk. Help desk. Yeah. So. Ah, uh, yeah. A sales sales director of a local telecom come by and visit the other day. I usually blow these types of meetings off, but it was. Uh, we need to renew the contract, so we had to do it. Of course, they're trying to upsell me on all these services. And they're asking, like, you know, DR recovery and and DR backup and stuff. And I'm like, yeah, I, I just store all my offsite backups to AWS. They're like, oh, okay, AWS. I don't, I don't know if I've really heard of them before. I said, I'm pretty sure. I mean, they only host three quarters of the internet. top of the hour. Then you'll have to roll this. Uh, yeah. Roll it. And fertilize it. Yep. Did you lime it? I did. Yeah. pH value is good. Not perfect, so I don't know if my OCD is going to be able to handle that. I might have to. Uh, you missed some grass back here, you're bailing. I, I, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
it's going to cost me a hundred and ninety thousand dollars to buy the field information for all my fields yeah i mean they're not small i mean oh. you could you could take samples no 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 it's like as soon as that mod came out that that let you take soil samples as you drove through the field, it's like everyone just stopped using the little driller. Yeah, there's uh, the map that I'm going to play on Cooley and then it's 16x and one plot of land, just one plot, the soil sample is $138,000. We may just have to old school seat of the pants a couple of times on the school. I just buy the source samples. It's not real money. <laughs> but even the funny money, I've only got so much of it left. True. Well, I mean, you can always sell the harvesters. Or you have to do sunflowers, yeah. I can do my sunflowers. Oh, I did, I did lease the header, so I can get rid of the header. Of the the problem is, is I picked up that harvester on sale. It was in the uh, discount job. It was in the discount bin. Ah, oh, well, I mean, if you sell it back. Alright guys, that's going to do me for the lot. night. I didn't used to, but the more I played, the more at least a lot. Tomorrow night we're going to be doing Forza Friday now. over at the Funhouse channel. That is the second channel that we are now using for non-farm sim content. Because dirt, dirt is more valuable. I'll be sure to post a link to that in money. the community tab tomorrow evening for anyone who is interested. We're going to be running it kind of in a race weekend format, so multiplayer. Anyone with Forza Motorsport yeah, is yeah. welcome to join. That's almost yeah. a great uh, The only requirement is to be into the Discord. Explanation Discord for that. Boys and girls, I'm going out of here. Right. If you want to just return the rake over here, you'll kind of see where the grass stuff is. You can put it away if you want. Just leave it out. Yep. Got it. Ah, uh, Forza. Forza Friday. Yeah, have fun, man. I think I'll be back here Saturday afternoon. It looks pretty good. Forza does. Yeah, hopefully we'll have fun with multiplayer. I think we're going to do Lime Rock Park something fun to drive should be a hoot mm -hmm. well if i'm not too busy at work i'll try to catch it but well just tell late. everyone to not do stupid things yeah i wish that worked all right for that happy farming <laughs> happy farming